We've been talking <clears throat> about the love of God and how it expresses itself in kindness and also long suffering. Uh, I want you to just take a moment and think about it. The first Corinthians chapter 13 and verse four says the love of God is patient. Actually the word there again is long suffering. It's long suffering. The very next thing it says is kind. So God's love allows us to put up with people because that's what long suffering does. It puts up with people. It, it's uh, tolerant to all the weirdness of humanity. Kind of like what we talked about last devotion. Doesn't get easily frustrated. And then it's kind. This kindness is something that speaks to us when jesus said my yoke the burden that i'll place upon you is kind or easy it's the same root but there in matthew chapter 11 and verse 29 and 30 he was speaking of this aspect of his nature he's kind god expresses expressed his kindness to us through jesus christ uh, it but it was motivated by his love and love expressed itself in kindness and another aspect put up with a lot of crazy aspects of our humanity does it not I guess one of the verses that really speaks to this is a verse in Luke chapter 6 now we know many of these verses but in verse 35 it says love your enemies do good lend expecting nothing in return and your reward will be great and you'll be the sons of the most high for he himself is kind. God is kind. God is kind to the ungrateful and the evil. Ungrateful and evil men. God is kind. In the book of Matthew, it says the rain falls on the just and the unjust. God is kind. God shows his kindness. Paul said in Acts 14, when he was speaking there, testifying of God. He said this is one of the aspects that speaks to God's nature is that he's been kind. He's given you rain in season and things such as this. God is kind. Even though we as human beings have expressed such indifference to him. God is kind. Now what would happen in our world today if we began to express a kindness that wasn't based upon the people that we wanted to be around, or people that agreed with us, and wasn't being a Republican, a conservative, or a liberal, or a Democrat, or a left-leaning person. It wasn't any of that. It was just being a citizen of the kingdom of God. And so we're kind, because we have been forgiven much. Therefore, we can love much. We've been forgiven of all of our sins. And the nature that separates us from him has been removed so that we can come into his presence. We've been accepted in God's presence. Now, the Bible does tell us in Ephesians 2, 7 that God's mercy and his love, his great love and the mercy that he expressed towards us was so that he could express his kindness. Now think about that. God wants us to be an expression of his kindness throughout the ages. In heaven, we're going to look at one another and realize that God is so kind. He's so kind. He didn't have to do what he did. He's so kind. And it's because of this great love that he poured out his mercy and treated us in such a way. Well, friends, I hope that you and I, I really do, this is one thing that I really want to pick up in my life. That God has been gracious to me. He's treated me as a father and 
pitied me like a child, it says in Psalm 103 and verse 12. I, I, I want to I wanna return on that investment. I hope you do too. Till next time, friends. God bless you. Thank you.